Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back yesterday, second video and the microphone is finally working well. So what you do when you're looking for a car that is a hatchback, a very nice hatchback that you're looking for a specific amount of money that will bring you joy, happiness and you don't want a Japanese. And maybe you don't want a Volkswagen because you never know with their 1.2 or 1.4 engines. You don't want a BMW because they're very expensive. The Mercedes, I'm just not not saying it they're really expensive so in this case you're gonna start looking for the French for the French cars and in this time you say like French what like the Peugeot Citroën like not the best cars okay they are but um, in this case you're gonna look for something like a hybrid a hybrid between the Japanese and the French in this case we have the concern for related for Renault Mitsubishi and Nissan in this case, let's welcome our today guest, the Renault Megane, third generation from 2013. You might be wondering now you might be wondering why we're talking about a car that's nearly a decade old but trust me this one is worth revisiting first of all this car was a game changer for the industry but what's really important is how this car impacted people's day-by-day -day lives with the megan free renon bought top-of-the-line technology and safety features to the masses. Even in the base model, you got things like cruise control, Bluetooth connectivity and a multifunction steering wheel. All of a sudden, things that were previously considered luxury were accessible to your average driver. This car wasn't just about looks either. It was designed with practicality in mind, which meant a spacious interior and a boot that will handle everything from the weekly groceries to luggages from a family vacation. They love in a drip, they think I'm a force, they gotta move cautious. Uh, back in my duffel, I'm working a double like I'm in an office. Tell them to watch it, nah, I ain't talking my pockets, just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. If you are new to Victoria's reviews, I do car reviews, zero to 100 race, some drug race, and lately a lot of messing around. So subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hello my dear wonderful audience, welcome back to this review. Yes, finally I'm coming out with another review and it's with a specific car. Why is it specific? Because this is the Renault Megane from our family. Yes, it's our personal Renault Megane. We bought it actually around one year and three months ago and I would say I'm very happy until now about this purchase. This Renault Megane is a very special one, especially Especially that it has this wonderful interior with lever that you could not see or you do not see it very often. Actually, I never saw it for sales, such a car in Cyprus. This is not a Cyprus car, this was a Singapore car. It was imported from there. So I suppose there people do pay a lot of money for different stuff. Additionally, we have the LED daytime running lights, we have parktronics, we have the cruise controls, speed limiters, a lot of things. So basically that's why we like the car we said like yep that's the car that we need so that's why we bought it so here we are and driving my actually my wife's Renault Megane and I'm very happy with the car and hopefully you're gonna like it like me because it's really a wonderful car so the length is 4,295 millimeters, the width of 1,808 millimeters, the height of 1,471 millimeters, with a clearance of 120 millimeters. But because we are with the 17 inch wheels, I suppose that we have this all 130 millimeters of clearance. Actually, I never had any problems with the parking into the city. So definitely a good point. 
and the whole body weight is 1,365 kilograms. Yes, it is a diesel. So yes, this is the car of my wife and generally speaking, she's driving it every day. Okay, from some time to time, she's making some poses because I'm sending my car or my cars and trying to find a new one. Believe me, this is happening car quite. When you're looking at this car, it really looks fantastic. It has things that our general cars here, they do not have. They have this nice daytime running LED lights. You could install them by ordering some new things from the Aliexpress, I don't know, or somewhere else. But these one are coming directly from the factory and they're gorgeous. As well, you have the fog lights here. You have the 17 inch wheels that are really different from what are you see basically for a basic car for Europe. Really, these are like a top of the range, 17 inches. Of course, you could find and buy for the from the RS like 18 and 19, but this is a really one of the best. They're really good looking when driving. And as well, you have the parking sensors in the back. Unfortunately, the car is not coming with a camera or something like that, but it could easily be like adjusted with the help of uh, additional parts. Additionally, the car is coming with an unexpected part like the keyless entry. You have the keyless entry, you can open the door by having only the keys in your pocket. And it's coming for all four of them. You see, one, two, as well. You have it in the back, it's working. Three and four. So the car is coming <laughs> with a full four door skillless entry. This is not, you cannot like, you're not seeing it very often, especially in a Megane. It's a very meaty, good looking Megane as you see it now. About the boot, I'll tell you in a second. I just needed to remove all the shoes that my wife have in her boot because as she tell me, you never know, you need to be prepared all the time. Maybe today you need another color of the shoes. So after removing all the things, basically we could speak about the boot. The boot is actually kind of big, 408 liters. It's more than the Volkswagen Golf that is only 380 liters. The Ford Focus that is only 360 liters. So it's like it's not enough. Okay, this space, it's outdone by the Honda Civic that has around 400. 77 liters and Skoda Octavia with 590 liters but still this is a really big space like if to compare do I fit inside actually I could fit easily as you see I'm sitting right now here like no problems for my side like it's even I I think I could manage even close the door in case it will be required but not now oh yes and this what I could tell you about the boot here you have a wonderful boot. Unfortunately, it has a lip of around this size. That's like around 30 centimeters. So if you have big luggage, it would be almost impossible to put it inside without having some muscles, you know, like uh, take it out, put it inside, uh, take it out, put it outside on that. But you have a plus. This car, unfortunately, is coming without a spare wheel. You have a place for a spare wheel, but you could easily go down under and here you have another space of additional 33 liters of free space for your things in case you need something like amazing you can easily hide all your car things under the mat more as you see it has this cover just to hide everything that you have inside and when it comes to the back seats it has a split ratio of 60 40 it's almost flat okay not the flattest seat that you're gonna expect I'll give an example now. So we go it like that. Now, and as you see, it's not the easiest to do it when you have the cover, but this is how it's done. So, as you see, this is how flat it can go. Oh my gosh. Like. Now, you see how I'm sitting? 
this is the flattest basically you could even sleep with your leg outside okay you could transfer things if you need but i do not believe that they could be very big the space even if it will offer 1162 liters it's still because of the seats that are not going flat it will be a problem to transport big things as you see it's not the flattest floor on the car but instead you have 1162 liters of space that will help you out a lot when necessary to transfer things you could leave this home in this case you have a big opening like that will give you the option to put things inside it comes to the engines related to the diesel as you see here it's 1.5 110 horsepower and 320 newton per meter torque these cars just take care and to read the documents of the car because these cars could come as well with 1.5 90 horsepower 1.5 as this one 110 horsepower 1.6 130 horsepower and 2 liter engine with 165 horsepower I never saw a car with two liters and 1.6 engines in general the mass produced cars are the 1.5 110 horsepower on this one <coughs> and this is a really good engine because this engine is, was also developed and was used by the Mercedes in the, their A-class cars so when you see in Mercedes a 1.5 diesel engine you should know that that engine is from Renault developed by the Renault for them mercedes so they are really really good engines really long loving and working engine as this one as we have here this engine is coming coupled with a six speed edc gearbox that will give you as well the option to change the gears manually as well it's coming with two clutches this gearbox has two clutches so the computer on the board will start learning how you drive so in anticipation how you are changing the speeds it will basically work according to your driving preferences and in the end you'll believe that this gearbox is one of the best I really like how it changed the speeds I really like how it perform on the road it's a really really good gearbox that is coming with this engine just don't forget to change the oil in it I really do see it very well in this car this like kind of sport cushions that keeps me very well inside of the seat very good I like the way how the engine works like it's mm, yummy for the diesel one it's a very very good engine in order to continue the review now we are inside of the car why I'm on the passenger side because I'm after um, because you're not the owner of the car yes I'm I not the owner of the car and as well I'm after a surgery and that's why I'm just can be as a passenger my wife my lovely wife that drives this car every day in, in like for the last one year and a half I think even more um, she would tell her point of view of owning the car of driving it every day like maybe pluses minuses what she saw what she likes and what she doesn't like so stay with us enjoy it I do believe you would find a lot of interesting things from this uh, Mariana <laughs> So let's start with the general thing because you didn't participate for the when I filmed the review in summer and it's still soon to be out. Um, what do you be, what do you think about the outside exterior of the car? Like, does it uh, worth it? This 14 like 12 2013 12 month car does it look still appealing in 2023? The front side, yes. The back side, mm, not my favorite. Yes, so the front side, it looks good. For the gear, I think it's still kind of uh, good looking. But I'm not convinced. But the there is always what? Back side, uh, it, I just don't really like him. Uh, One second, we need to turn. <laughs> we need to turn. Yes. It's a grayish, black grayish. So it's not a white grayish, so it's cool, good looking. Yes. So yeah. Uh -huh. I like the lights in front. It has a daylight running lights. So the exterior more or less for you is still appealing on this 2033 if you're still driving. 
Or if you... I look at it only from the front, yes. Only from the front. Okay, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> um, what about the, do you like the, the wheels, like 17 inch wheels? Are they okay for you? Are they coming in for? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so... <laughs> you guys saw our previous videos. Uh, you'll understand why I said that. <laughs> So about the um, watch the passat by the way it's here like just start here check by yourself. What about the interior? Like if to compare, you saw our megans that are with different interiors. No, this one. <laughs> no. No, you never saw. No, I never saw. But okay, this no. one uh, looks good. It looks. That's why actually I wanted this car. The interior looks very. It's like beige leather. Beige leather. Yes. So uh, it's a, I would say. It's a mustard, honey, mixed color, not, not, not necessarily a beige. So Today I've come to show you our exquisite new line of softer colors in shadows, blushes and lipstick. It's okay. brownish. Brownish. It's cool. It's everywhere. You have like here everything is in this color. Even the door, uh, hand on the door also everything is in this color. Uh, in rest, uh, as I understand, the materials are very nice. In front, by the way, here they are laid, like very pushy, pushy, like very fluffy, good looking car. In rest, apart from the interior for these like seats, do you like everything else? You like, does it look okay? Would you change it? Or the seats are enough in order to cover all the other questionable okay, things. So the if you're a driver, I really enjoy it. It's very comfortable. Everything is very <clears throat> according to, to my standards. <laughs> it's good. Uh, if you're a passenger, it's not that enjoyable. That's why I put Victor to, to be the passenger because I can't. Why is it not enjoyable? Tell me, like, because I'm, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, you're What's going on? I don't know. I'm not feeling it. No. <laughs> okay, it, I think the seat is not comfortable and it's you can't adjust it, so it's a bit high. Ah. I feel like I'm reaching the ceiling and as well, like, I don't know, the, the body position is not, is not comfortable. Ah, oh, by the way, yes, like, it's like there's, um, you feel it like the car, it's a little, like the seats are a little bit churned, like they're not sitting straight yes, yes, exactly. they're a little, a little bit, bit churned. churned even like on that side is also they're a little bit churned um and i Do suppose that all cars have this I mean, the uh, french cars yeah. because even the sound visors they're a little bit turned why you see it because when you're um put it down you just need to move a little bit in order to see it straight so it's it's something related to the french cars it's not a problem but it's a little bit annoying a little bit, yes, like around that. Yeah. The electronic cluster that you see there, is it better than the analog one when you see only like all yes, the kilometers? Yes. yes, yes, I really like the fact that I see the big number there so that uh, it's easy to just see straight away what's your mileage, yeah, what's your, what's yes. your speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, when I'm driving and I, I see just the, how do you call it? The speedometer. Yes, uh, when it's let's say analog. on our yeah, analog, then I like sometimes I have to just focus there. But with the huge number there, it's very easy to. So this is huge for me. I'm excited. Feel about the power of the car, like because this is a 1.5 diesel CI. So you drove as well a little bit the um, Mazda. That I drove through it once. Let me tell you just was released there so that's the petrol the same 1.5 do you feel the difference between them do you which one do you like more which car do push you straight huh? yes which car do push you to drive maybe faster or less faster which one is... oh. yes yes okay this one gives me the feeling that i want to just go faster i could race nascar formula one uh, compared to Mazda, the last one uh, that we've reviewed. I'm calm. Good. That one gives me a feeling of comfort, going slowly, no need to rush. This one gives me the feeling like I'm in a rally. <laughs> and as well, I feel like sometimes the car doesn't have the power to, let's say, just now we've been in a roundabout, not now. Twenty minutes earlier, and when I pre 
press the acceleration. Yeah, the car made a, this weird sound that needed uh -huh. to switch the gearbox. Uh, gearbox. The gearbox was a little bit uh, how? Slower. Slower. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay. To be honest, um, yeah, I feel pretty. Uh, no, I mean I I am confident, but my car was probably in the traffic. It just blends. It doesn't really ah. comes out as a very uh, impressive car. Of course, it's just a simple uh, car. So it's just a Renault. Just a Renault. <laughs> yes. But Mr. Renault, I like you. So, for a woman perspective, um, let's say not like for a all daytime but as a first time car because usually oh, yes. you can say this is your first time car when you're driving it own it by yourself first, yeah uh, first ever car, car yes first car I have owned yes like driving it every day not just from time to time but every like, every day um, yes. yes I feel like I'm uh, I'm in my shoes it feels great to drive it I'm very used to it and it's easy to control I recommend it. Even if it's a French car. Even if it's a French like what it French cars are amazing. They provide more things for the money than other cars. This you should remember every time. And if you take care of them, they'll last for a long, long time. That's why I have a husband to take care of it. And yes. I'll just be driving it. Actually recently we spent around 800 euros but it's included a lot of things. We changed the timing belt, we changed the water pump, we changed, the, like we did the full service, including from all the filters, oils, etc. Uh, we uh, do, we did some other things I need to check there. Like there's a, ah, we changed the braking fluids. We fixed, uh, broke the um, caliper, like how called, uh, pump brake pa caliper. So it's kind of, ah, we, they, really, we did a lot of things that will cost, usually, will cost a lot of money. And this one, this price, was included with the price for the labor. So, ah, we did as well the MOT, like the mechanical inspection of the car. So it's also included in this price. So it's a really, really um, inexpensive car to run in the long run. Even if it's like, uh, if it's diesel, um, of course, diesel loves big speeds and big distances of driving. So even as a diesel one, it's like not expensive to drive. Wonderful, wonderful hatchback made by the Renault. That's why this car is sold so a lot, like if to compare with any other cars. Especially if to say that this car with 1.5 liter engine delivers how much? 110 horsepower and 240 newton per meter torque. It's a wonderful car. I really like the way how they made the car. I really like how they made the suspension. What's funny about the suspension? How the suspension is done by the Renault, I think nobody is doing like them. Like, the suspension is so good and it's so well done because when you're driving on, um, like, how you call that, on the speed bumps, yes, you're not even feeling, you're like, you're just passing for it like it's it's totally different if you have the option to drive in a Megane definitely do it because really you'll feel the difference of driving such a car um, as well the way how it handles like it's the, apart from the suspension that is fantastic the way how they made their wheel to drive that's a really good car like it's really listening for me for all my uh, movements to the right to the left so you definitely know that indeed the car is really really good 
what to say about this insulation is it good and bad no is it good and medium at the same time it's somewhere the golden medium it's like it's you have it but when you're driving on a highway you have some sound that's coming from the rear windows in rest like it's very cool it's working properly you have this cruise control that controls your speed I'm just I'm doing like cruising from one city to another I'm just putting the speed of the one that is according to the law and I'm driving without issues just like relaxing myself until I get I'm getting to the destination really cool cruise control in rest it has this gear ratio like the six speed automatic gearbox with the possibility to go on the manual shifting of the gears uh, wait, that is coming as well with two discs it's a uh, well basically this gearbox is learning how you drive and it anticipating your move so basically the gear shifting are very smooth sometimes you're not even feel them actually I'm not feeling them at all I actually I'm not feeling them at all so it's a really really good gearbox seeing this car after seeing all the review all the pluses and minuses related to this car what do you think does it worth such a car to be bought if to buy it will you buy it for me it's not a brainer definitely buy it because i really like the car it's really a good car and you what do you think if you own a renault megan let me know do you like it as well as i do of course we are speaking about the diesel about the petrol i'm still eager to find out how does it drives especially the rs everything is cool yes. we love you guys thank you very much for being with us for and watching all the review yes. yes and see you in the next video and next we'll do our best for my wife to be there as well because soon my car is coming <laughs> yay bye 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 Pate, bye. 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 <laughs> bye. Yes, bye.